Hello everybody. Welcome back to the video tutorials on using GeoGebra for mathematical explorations. In this video, we will learn about construction protocol. I will take you to the GeoGebra file that I have constructed. Here you can see a parallelogram. I have constructed this parallelogram using sliders, text box and an input bar. Sometimes when you see a GeoGebra file, you might have this question. I wish I knew the steps for constructing this GeoGebra file so that I could also follow and try to do the same thing and thereby learn how to construct. Well, the good news for you is GeoGebra stores the steps for construction within the file itself. And so every file of GeoGebra has a secret of how it can be constructed. To unravel the secret, you need to click on view and select construction protocol. To repeat, go to the menu bar, click on view. Within view, you have this option called construction protocol. When you click it, GeoGebra opens a construction protocol, which is nothing but the series of steps that are used for constructing this particular GeoGebra sketch. You can see that this construction protocol has the steps numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's the entire sequence of steps. In this particular file, there are 38 steps. So in the bottom, you can see 38 by 38. So this bottom panel, if you see, is very much like a music player. You can go to the first song of the entire sequence. So here you are a blank GeoGebra screen with just the first step being done, which is constructing a text box, which is the heading for this GeoGebra file. And I can go step by step by clicking on next, next step, pretty much like listening to the next song in the next track in the series, in the playlist. You can click on the last to go to the last step in which you will see the entire GeoGebra file constructed. Or again, you can go back to the first step anytime you want to play the series of steps again and again. So this way you will be able to get the series of steps that are required for constructing the sketch. Let me show a few steps. So the first step is already shown in the screen, which is creating a text box and the value is also given on the column under, under the column value. Construction of a parallelogram, bracket, sliders, text box, input bar. When I click on play, it shows the next step, which is creating a slider. The construction protocol says this is slider of type number. The name of the slider is side one and the value is 24. When I click on next, it's showing me the next slider called side two, which is also a number slider with value 15. Then I've constructed an angle slider and the angle value, the slider value is 110. Then I've selected a point A and constructed a segment of a given length where the value of the length is coming from the slider. This way if I keep on clicking next, 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 I can see that the GeoGebra file is being constructed step by step. I've also opened the Algebra view so you can see the same steps, the construction steps are also reflected in the Algebra view as well. Now you may want to not advance this step by step yourself manually, you may want to play it automatically somewhat like the auto playlist of a music player. That option is also available. Let me go back to the beginning. I've clicked on the first left extreme box, which is helping me get to the first step. And I can see that there's something called play here. I'll increase it a bit too so that I can see the screen more. It's also giving me the interval for playing the GeoGebra file. And here I've got two, which is two seconds. Two seconds is reasonable. So if I click on play, GeoGebra will automatically play step after step out of the construction with a two second gap in between. And I just need to sit and look at the construction steps being played. And this will help me to get an idea of how the file has been constructed, how the GeoGebra sketch has been constructed. I can also use it to demo the steps of construction to students so that they get, can get an idea of it. I can also export this entire construction protocol as a web page. So I'm going to pause. So to do that, you need to go on top of the construction protocol. If you see the third left icon from the top, if you click on it, it will export the entire construction protocol. You have to give the title of the page as well as the author name. And if you click on export, it will create an HTML file. This HTML file will give me the steps of construction and I can print it out and actually use it for constructing as well. So in this way, construction protocol helps me to understand the steps of constructing any GeoGebra file. Let me go back to my slide. 
There is also help page for this particular construction protocol, which is in the GeoGebra user manual. You can see the hyperlink given in the last line. HTTPS wiki.geogebra.org slash en slash construction underscore protocol. That gives you advanced steps in the construction protocol, like actually shifting a step from one place to another, deleting a step, etc, etc. These are more advanced steps, so I have not covered it in my video. But if you are interested, you could look at this page for more information. So basically what we did is explained in this slide. We went to the file menu and clicked on view and selected construction protocol. And we were able to play the construction steps of this particular file step by step. Pretty much like we would play music on our music player. Construction protocol is very useful to understand the construction and can be used to demonstrate the construction as well. Well, that is all we have in this video today for you.